Welcome back to our coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. We're a few holes into the second nine. Let's head out to the 12th. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Going with the seven. This one might roll into the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Nicely done. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And there it is. Now, eight shots back after that hole. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with the tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you're giving yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. Well, we're hearing some excitement elsewhere on the course. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. And this effort by Gary Woodland was just a little while ago. This is how you do it seven days a week. Sitting at two under. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. Hey, nice looking line. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to three under par. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. got a chance and with that part hold it's back-to-back -back birdies back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there Luke some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard the 15th the TPC Sutherland is a great short par four in fact a lot will try and drive it in the tournament if you want to lay it back 
You've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Not a bad line, this one. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Oh, I got to say, this is a gorgeous thing, isn't it? Wonderful effort. And back to the course with the live action. John, you're down there. Can you get out of this predicament? They're deep down in there, guys. I do not envy them, but uh, looking forward to seeing how they get out. Okay, so that's step one, but now gonna hold a mid-range putt. This one's for birdie. Ooh, nice line. And that's the kind of fighting spirit that keeps a good round going. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Currently five under for the round. The 16th at TPC Summerlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Going with the four iron here. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Five shots off the lead. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Outstanding approach shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm over on the 18th hole, and this is Patrick Cantlay setting up his next shot. A good chance to move to six under par here. This one has eyes for the hole. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three, playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're gonna go for it, be very accurate. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Oh, they're dialed in. It's an absolute clinic. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. That was a gallant attempt. Big putt for Pai coming up. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard with a two-stroke lead. The 18th at TPC Sumlin is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. From around 140 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. This putt is for a spot inside the top 10. And another round safely in the books. And it's worth taking another look at that one.
And with that, Rich, their round comes to an end. They seem to be in pretty decent shape. Absolutely. Look, I've been impressed with their performance. Let's see how they progress through the tournament. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now. Sports delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elby with my mate Rich Beam in the booth and Beamer. This player really hasn't been getting it going in this tournament, finds himself trailing the lead. What are your expectations of them today? Well, certainly they're stuck in second gear out there, aren't they? They just make a birdie or two and then they give it back with a bogey. So they need to quit making mistakes. They need to go ahead and start putting this thing in third and fourth gear and start cruising down the highway a little bit quicker because right now they're trailing. They can't afford to give any more uh, back. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. This one's dialed in. Oh, hello. Welcome to the course. Yeah, you gotta love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Well, Rich, that's gotta feel good. Opening the first with an under par score. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Now well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Needs this one to kick right. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. It's tracking, and that's for birdie. Well hold. Gotta like it, two in a row. Now at minus nine for the tournament. And now teeing off on this par four hole. That one was fired out of a cannon. Second shot here on the third. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Not bad. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? About 26 feet from here, I'd say. Looking really good. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Gotta say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And it's time to recap that play. He's currently tied for 15th. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. T is yours. 
Here we are at the fourth hole. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Coming off a string of three birdies. Well, that's well played and a great birdie opportunity coming up here at the fourth. 11 feet left to the hole. This one's online. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And he'll move into the top ten. He finds himself in a share of tenth place. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Looks to be going with the six iron. And that's a good looking shot there. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Looking really good, this one. And this putt coming up for his par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Now six strokes back after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Good shot there. Going with the nine iron, I think. Uh, that's going right. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. It's time to begin this powerful hole. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, guys, they're in the deep stuff here, and they did get a favorable lie considering the situation. Let's see what happens. What an opportunity to make a birdie. I like the look of this. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And he dances his way to the top ten after that delightful shot. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Well, this one might need to get down a little. That's just inside the range. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Job done. Let's head to the next. He's currently tied for 11th. And moving down the leaderboard as well. 
Here we have a par five. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. In Vegas, they say you've got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. And it seems like the ninth hole, Rich, at TPC Summerlin, time to put the foot down and go for it. You better believe it. Everybody can reach this green in two, even the short hitters, Luke. So players needing to take on this second shot, knock it on the green anywhere up around it. It's a very straightforward pitch for your third. And birdies and eagles will be had by most players. Here's a chance to get up and down from the green side bunker. Okay, safely on the surface, a chance for the putt to be hold here. This putt is to move inside the all-important top ten. And putt is underway. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. That's a good way to move into the top ten sitting at minus 13 for the tournament. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here at the 10th. Choosing the 9-iron here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. This is from miles away. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Oh, what a great stroke. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Good chance this one, right on six feet. That's well hold. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. You've arrived at a par four. This should find the short grass. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Going with the five iron here. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Well, a little off the target with that one. Not easy to find the green coming out of the rough. like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free just a simple tap in for par on this one the leader now has a one-stroke advantage welcome to this hole that's a par four oh that's a sweet looking swing that one around 110 yards to go. They need to fight this one down into the wind. Going with the seven. Come on, get down. Well, that's a handy shot. Now, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Oh, 
Oh, this looks pure. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. It's just about three feet away. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by four strokes. We have a par five on this one. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. That should find the cut stuff. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Putting for Eagle here. in the hole and down it goes for an eagle and let's have one more look at that shot And JT is currently our leader. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Nothing quite like an eagle at the last. Almost as good as a shrimp on the barbie. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. That should find the surface. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Important putt here. They make it. They're into the top five. Tracking. Top effort, that. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Currently 15 under par for the event. And the player steps up to this short par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. A chance to pipe one up the middle. He may be thinking about going for the green here. Oh, I love that aggressive play. Gotta love it. Taking out the big stick and going ahead and walloping it right onto the green. A fair bit on the line here. Spot the top five. Get in. Well, what a lovely putt to make. To the top five he goes. He finds himself in a share of four. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Well, they should be high on confidence stepping onto the tee now after that eagle at the last. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16, so most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent line, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy, and there's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Super punt that. What an eagle. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. 
He's got a one-shot buffer. We have a par three on this one. Looks to be going with the five iron. Left yourself an opportunity. Outside chance here for the birdie. Now that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Downhill putt. And sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. He's currently sitting in fourth place. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18. That's tidy. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. And this putt to move into a tie for third place. If it's up, it could be in. And that signs off on today's round. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for third. My pleasure, my friend. Lots of memorable moments out there today. Hopefully tomorrow can produce much of the same. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.